All right, this is part three. I've, I've added a, another tab to my website at the end. It's called Dear Victoria. And it's like a Dear Abby column because I'm really good at helping people's relationships. And I've got a number of girlfriends that will call me. They've got a problem with their daughter or their sister or their husband or their neighbors or their co-workers. And I don't know how. This is my forte. I can actually solve issues. Because Ooh, I, don't, I don't scream and shout at anyone. I really don't. I get hyper and fun and exciting, but nothing's negative about me. So if I had a problem with someone, I talk it out. And I do as much as I talk and talk too fast. I listen. No, I, I, I listen. like the way you talk. I don't, I don't like people who talk so slow. And, and I, like I love to understand. I've got a girlfriend that calls me for many various things. One with her boyfriend, one with her sister. And actually, she's quite a well-known person, so I'm not going to say who she is. But she calls me a lot, and I give her great advice. And people are calling me for advice for their daughters because they think I'm a role model for their daughters. And I am. You are. I'm against you antidepressants. Are. I'm against any kind of drug. Oh. I mean, the, the, the parents are giving drugs. I've got a girlfriend who's got a daughter on Prozac. It's ah. just, and she's only 17. I've got, I've got, and I've got so many things. And, and these, some of these girls, other girlfriends, their, their daughters are having sex with people. I mean, you can't be you have to like teach. This. You have to teach them how to use a condom. No, but you don't have sex with someone if you're not in a relationship. You Why? Don't, it's terrible. You don't behave uh. like that. It's wrong. It's, we are ladies or girls. Oh, and if we're you animals. Like that, Part of us are just plain animals. Well, we are ladies and we need to bring back the, the where we used to be 50 years ago. We need to bring back our, our morals that we used to have then. I have always had them. I'm born in the wrong era. I'm talking about the women of today. I'm talking about the majority that I live amongst. The women that oh. don't have any self-worth. They don't have self-respect. And then they, listen, then they want to put men down and they want to be man-haters because the men use them. Well, a man is going to use a vacant open hole. And if yeah. you behave like a whore, you should be treated like a whore. And also, if you leave money on the couch, if you leave money down at the thing, they might just take it. You know, it's like somebody who's like yeah. on a diet and you leave a great big bowl of candy in front of me. You don't do that. We don't. And the point is, in my entire life on this earth, I have always been respected, idolized, and loved by men who I've had a closeness with. Not saying I've ever been fully intimate with them and men I've had relationships with, but I've never had a problem where someone's used me or dumped me or cheated on me. They, they wouldn't do that to me, but they've done that to the majority of the people that I see and I know in this town. And you know what? I'm on the man's side and I don't blame them. Because when you come to a special lady or a special girl, men don't need to do that to us. And I really mean that. We need to bring back our values to California and Los Angeles. I don't know when, when, when you lost them, but I'm sure there were ladies here like me 50, 60 years ago. I really mean that. I, it's, it's a man's world, and women need to stop behaving like absolute whores because they're treated like them, and then they don't like it. And then they think it's their world. It's not their world. We need to look after our men, and we also need to be strong girls as females as well. But look mm -hmm. after our men. Let men be men. Women need to stop trying to be men, and this is my opinion. What's I know, the website I, again? I love, I love your world. I want, I, I, I want your world to be like that. I want that. the website. I my website. Okay, victoriaredstyle.com. Okay. Go to Dear Victoria, and any of your problems, you can change your name, and I will respond. My and what about you, Facebook? Your friend? Facebook? Facebook. I'm on Facebook. I've got a like page. I, I only make friends with people that I know. I, I'm very private. But they can leave messages or questions. People can message me. People can message me on my website. I'm very easy to write to, and I Do try to respond. Do the website again, because I mean, I haven't gotten it, and I want to be able to remember it. So say it again slowly, the website. Victoria Redstall. Com. And if you forget that, folks, her name will be on there, so, and it'll say oh, .com, I, like yeah. I do with and your yes, name. please, everyone, friend John Solari, J-O-N-S-O-L. No, no. J -O -H -N, the J -O -H -N. it's J-O-H-N. J-O-H-N, that's what I said, I thought. No, you said J-O-N. J-O-H-N, S-O-L-A-R-I, friend him, and on his, uh, uh, on Facebook, and it's got all the shows, and it's got some stuff, and you can scroll down, and you can punch in, and you can watch the shows on there, and also, you can leave messages if you want to be on the show, you can, like, say, I'm an artist, I have something to say, I, so, I, I love Facebook, I think it's I, great, and, and pretty soon, Facebook. there, it's gonna, it's pretty soon, because it's Wild Wild West right now, it really Facebook, is, yeah. and we're gonna be charged for that, so, let's use it while we can, use it while all those, those, the, all that stuff that's out there, like, I mean, we, we pay so much for television and everything, all those things are just free, going around in the air, and I don't know why, and what's the name of the in. book again, so oh, the people, can you see well, it? well, I had it oh. on there, we just, Tell serial, us the name of the book. Serial Killers Up Close 
and very personal. Here, you say it's your book. <laughs> I looks like I wrote it. I would, I, this is you. my granddaughter. I'm so proud of her. I just can't stand it. <laughs> Serial killers up close and very personal. But I'll have another one out soon. I had an affair mm -hmm. with, with Peter O'Toole when I was doing that movie, and this is this is this is what I got. This is my granddaughter. <laughs> Peter O'Toole, so. my idol. Uh, well, I'm glad I didn't upset it too and much. Never won so, an I'm sorry, Oscar. Peter. I didn't mean to say that. One of the greatest actors there ever was. Oh, and it was he a Coxman? Oh. oh. Young girls. Oh. Well, why not? He was, uh, oh, he loved brunettes. He uh, was, oh, he, uh, he, I, I love him. Did you I really have an affair with him? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. But and it, I think I would have. But he, I wasn't his type. Right. You know, I just, I just wasn't his type. And um, I, was, I, I, was, I was bringing drugs to the set. You know, he was buying Coke for me at the time. Because I had to make a little extra money because I was working for nothing on that film even. You know, because they pay the big stars a lot and then they give everybody else, you know, peanuts. That was the days but, when Coke well, was very listen, popular. We were, all, we were all chopping it up on the camera box, you Steve know. Steve Rell's mean, back and everybody. Oh, we were all stoned and coked and drugged <laughs> out of our minds on that film. <laughs> we were doing, I mean, the whole, you know, I mean, my, yeah. my God, you know, it's like, it's like you'd have to kind of, I didn't. I no didn't wonder like, I love that movie. <laughs> it was stone. As a matter of fact, Richard Rush had a heart attack on it. We had to stop production, and get, you know he's got a heart replacement now. He, we had to stop production. We had to stop for a couple of months because they had to. He had a heart attack. Wow. You know, so it was probably was because of all that coke. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this I is my granddaughter, it. and this is her book, it and starts, she's like a little virgin. Oh. And no, I, my, every granddaughter I have, they're all virgins. It's it's like they're all like want to be. I I'm on this web series, and the the girl who is the producer, Carolina Sivas, and you should be on that show. You could be my. You could be. You could be. You could be something. It would be fun for you to do. I'd love for you to to get on that. And and um, uh, she writes, produces, and directs, and everything. But she, she's like a virgin stuff. Well, let's let's invite her to come on the show. Oh, here. I want you. Yeah. Darby. Yes. Is that Darby? I'm not, you know, I'm I've got a girlfriend who's a virgin. Ask her that when you ask if she's the one that knows Darby. her. Well, I don't want to say her last name, but she's a dear friend of mine. No, we're I mean, spending you Thanksgiving together. She's a virgin and she's 43, I think. She's a virgin. Oh my God. She's a virgin, yeah. Yeah, she's a good friend of mine. Oh. I only go, I only hang around with people who well, have good Well, you know, she just like doesn't, me. she just doesn't have, it, uh, she doesn't have enough testosterone. Her, her hormones are imbalanced. Well, you I don't know. Well, speaking do, of good do, morals. Do, do you get, do you get your, your hormones checked? When you go to the gynecologist, you get a blood test and find out if your 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 body is in sync with with who you are. I've never had a problem because I don't have any mood swings. I don't have anything off balance. And you don't have any problems with your periods. You don't I have, have pain. Long, I don't have any. I don't have mood, and that, my you mood have never pain. changes. You I have, have a lot of pain. I have a lot of pain once a month for one day. Oh, one day is nothing. One day, and I can live through the pain, you know. When you were speaking but about, but you know, morals. you shouldn't even have to have that pain because if you had progesterone, if you're taking progesterone from Women's International Pharmacy, I just started to take progesterone three days ago. <laughs> you, the the cream, I cream, almost cream. feel like I should leave this. Yes, I don't know what it's going to do, but they say it makes you put on weight. No wonder no, I'm bumping into this. No, they no, say no. That. It'll, it'll make you. It will make you stop having that pain. Okay, because that's all I have. I mean, I don't have what these women have over here. They have, what do they have? PMS and they get psycho once a month? Yeah. They, I, I don't yeah. have anything like that. Nobody would even know. But one day I have a pain. That's it's it. A you was, I was just wanting to get, we're going to stop. Claudia Wells, who has Armani Wells on Ventura. When you, she played the, the girlfriend in Back to the Future to Michael J. Fox. Okay. She has the morals that you're talking about. Yeah, I'm not saying you have to be a virgin all your life. I'm just no, saying she just has the high, morals. That I have you high have. morals. I'm not saying I'm a virgin. I either. leave a lot of the I shows mean. there, and people pick up one after they do the show. Yeah, they pick it up at Claudia Wells. Is uh, she? It's uh, Armani Wells is, is secondhand, high class. She has Armani stuff, Gucci, everything. Really, there. really a great story. Oh, I I go to Salvation Army, and I go to well, if you know I, what you know. Well, this is I, like I, know, I like junk shops. Well, that's what she has, stuff. but oh, it's really? high class. It's Ooh. all secondhand. Secondhand stuff. Yes, I love, I'm Molly Wells. Secondhand Rose, I swear. Yeah. I love secondhand. I, you're not. <clears throat> 
No, no, not second hand, but I don't mind going for good value. Target's great. I love that. Walmart's fine. Santee Alley, downtown LA. Santee Alley, what's that? Oh, it's, it's the California Mart, but there's an alleyway. And it's like Little Mexico. Got loads of different Ooh. shops. It's fabulous. Ooh. Absolutely fabulous. And this is in LA. What, yes. What is it again? Yes. Well, no, don't tell. Don't tell. We'll get mad when we're down I'll there. I'll definitely tell you. I mean, I'll definitely okay. tell you. I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. I, I, another thing is, is what I find a bit sad about LA, and again, because of what's going on yeah. with the way people be behave, which is another reason I stay at home every night, um, it's just, I find that I've got a huge amount of passion, okay, but it's always a positive thing, and as you know, John, because you've known me for almost 10 years, really, I, you guys, I thought you just met, no, I just met you, no, oh, I, I got, I got, I got met someone, <laughs> but I want to get this point across, because this has been a huge thing in my life in the last few days, I obviously, as you know, for over 10 years, I've been called the helicopter girl, the helicopter girl, yeah, John knows the background, it's a huge mm -hmm. thing, I got, well, tell us, tell us, I got uh, in West Hollywood. It, uh, I react very strong, and I'm going to say now it is not sexual. I do not take my clothes off, and I do not feel sexually. But there are certain I won't say names. I don't want to get them in more trouble. They're in trouble right now, right now as we speak. Huge trouble. But I'm not going to say the names of, but it's yeah, already. I, 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 I forget them anyway. Law enforcement and news have hovered over me. Wherever I have gone, when I lived in West Hollywood, on my balcony, or I went on jobs, wherever I were, was, they would hover over me. I would Ooh. leave big boards on my balcony, and they would go there. I'm not saying names, because I started to fly with the news, and fly with law enforcement. Well, what happened after five years, my neighbors got together, and they ended up, after going, getting the sheriff's department in a huge amount of trouble, it really wasn't the sheriff's department anymore. Because in 2000, 2001, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, it was the news. I then got sued for one hundred thousand dollars. Oh! I don't have the money, so of course I settled out of court. I will leave. I had just I had to leave the whole town because every air unit that's official, law enforcement news, knew where I lived. Now I moved to Studio City area, which is where I live now. I didn't tell a single helicopter pilot where I lived, and for a number of years living here. They didn't know where I was. Well, I'm just going to say recently I started flying with another. Let's just say law enforcement. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I did. Cut a long story short, they are the only law enforcement that, the only helicopters that fly over me now is this one particular law enforcement, I'm not going to go into the name. Okay, it got back to their captain, that's not the girl, that's not the helicopter girl from West Hollywood that got the sheriff's department into huge trouble, is it? So now, it's like, oh gosh, that's the same girl, she's nothing, she's trouble. I'm not trouble. Now, these pilots who haven't met me. I'll bet you're trouble. I'm trouble when it comes <laughs> to men getting addicted to watching me or being around me. I'm, I'm trouble there, but I don't do anything illegal. I've never done anything illegal. I don't do things sleazy. I don't take my clothes off. I don't take drugs. I don't do anything against the law. However, when these machines come to my area, let's say where I live or wherever I am, and they come close to me, oh, I could cry right now. Hold on. It is the most amazing feeling in this entire world. And my body, this is fake, but my body will shake. My eyes will go back in my head. I just, it is the most beautiful sight. And they know what they do. It is the most wonderful feeling yes, of euphoria. They're taking, they're taking care of you. They, I don't know whether they, maybe they may want to say, oh, she's acting sexual. Okay, I can understand a man who's a pilot, a man, point of view she's acting sexual because I'll go outside and I look at these most amazing machines and I Jesus Christ I love you guys and I and I do that now that's fake but when I do it and they're on top of me no it's real it's, it's real right. it's funny. now here here's what I find very sad everybody that knows me everybody that knows yeah. me knows I'm not crazy everybody that's been a roommate of mine I've had roommates, everybody wants to live with me again. They've never argued. People don't argue with me. Every girlfriend I've ever had, 18 years, there's my friends to this day. Every, no, no boyfriend's ever broken up with me. I've always been the one. I sadly have broken a lot of hearts. I don't mean to. But my point, and I really mean this point, is if these men are going to think I'm crazy, or somebody who doesn't know me is going to say that I'm crazy, what California's doing, or people have, who've got no passion, they don't realize that it's just passion. It doesn't have to be sexual. I understand that looks sexual, but I have an exorbitant amount of passion, and it's positive. It's not negative. You're never going to see me like that. It I think happen. everything is sexual. I don't. I, well, think, I think that's good. I think that's I good. Know. I work on a whole sexual level. I really do. Luther Adler, Stell Adler's brother, I worked with him. He played my father in a, in a Ben Casey. And he told me that when there are two people in a scene, in a shot, it's a love scene. 
It's, it's a love scene. Where are we love scene? And it's, it's yes. No, no. Man, woman, together, boy, father. It, 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 it has, it, it's a love scene. And he said they're the most poignant. I'm not, you're right. I mean, what you're saying is right. <clears throat> it's the most poignant thing you can see. Is that is, is a two shot, and he called it a love shot. He said always. But why? 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 What, if, what if it was a father and you know? Doesn't matter it's because, because it's, it's a not, love thing. To be because sexual. a, 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 a mother and a son is born through a sexual thing. Everything is. I work on a real sexual kind of place. If I fight with somebody. It, I, I, I worked with uh, Gary Collins. He was on a television show. He said, who's, and, and his wife was there. She was like a, a beauty queen and an actress yeah, also. Mm -hmm. And Gary Collins was a, you know, he had a bunch of television series and he was a hot young actor at the time. And um, I can't he remember said, her name. He said, I know. He I, said, uh, I they, they asked, uh, Johnny Carson said, well, who's the sexiest person you've ever, woman you've ever worked with in your life? And he said, Sharon Farrell. And all we did, we had these. Fights. We we fought. I was playing an actress. I had to have a kidney transplant. And and the guy that was um, uh, Marlon Brando's roommate in New York. What's his name? The little the guy with Mr. The, Peepers. Like, yeah, uh, I know you it? mean. Wally Wally Wally, Wally, Wally Cox. Cox. Wally Cox. He was a fan. He followed me and he donated the liver to me. And I was a bitch. I mean, I was just an outrageous diva bitch. And I didn't like this Gary Collins who came in, who was my doctor. And all I did was, I, I want my own doctor. I do not want you. I am a star. I'm an actress. And I am stuck in this little town. And I don't want to be stuck here. And I want my doctor here now. He thought that was sexy. And it was like... Oh, he not. said that was the sexy, yeah, and I, I, I because that's like prima donna. Big, well, sexy. you're sexy well, now. Well, no, 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 no. He's a male, and, and what turns him on turns him on. We can't label what he was turned on by. Right, I don't understand that. Too well, many you women can't. She's closet. right, though. You're not sexual. You, you're not a sexual person. I'm a sexual person. No, but what she's right you're, about you're you sexual can't. because you 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 have it all. You've got that passion. No, I've got like I've got passion and I'm sensual, but I don't think I'm. No, you no. don't take you wouldn't take off your clothes. My God, no. You wouldn't jump on a guy's cock. My you, you wouldn't. Oh do my God, she didn't say that. She didn't say that. Oh my God, you didn't say that. Yes. You don't have never heard the word cock before. Oh, we can't talk about that. That's terrible. You can't say that. Can't say See, that. she's turned on. She doesn't even. I'm not. I'm not from it. Oh my god, I'm horrified. No, I'm. Oh, I'm. I've now gone red. Call, I'm ready as that cushion. Call them weenies, gherkins. No. <laughs> uh, what else do they call them? Uh, no, no. Let's not call them. Wongs. <laughs> willies. I, I know what they are. They're daft. Willies. Willies. They do something. I know. I'm not daft. I'm not daft or anything like that. But the point she's no, making, though, kind of the point original. the point no, she's making sweet. is, I like that. You can't. Uh, I don't. I don't understand women, and you. And I don't think women understand men. I. You know, I what I turns me I, on? You would maybe wouldn't understand. No, I, I don't think I have a problem there. I don't understand the LA mentality where it makes everything sexual and it doesn't need to be. I have a well, very... Well, that's what it sells. It sells. Okay, okay. It's, it has to do with money. It's, it's and money, money is sells. sexual. Power is sexual. We're not living power in Power is sexual, yes. Because helicopters have got power. Especially when there's law enforcement behind them. See, she comes with an airplane yes. no, no, goes over No, I'm telling you, I have passion. She has a, she has a climax with no, an airplane goes over her head. Not an airplane. I don't like airplanes. Oh, it's, I'm talking uh, law enforcement. Helicopters. I no, it's not sexual, but I can assure you, it's an all-over body sensual erotic. Is that being sexual? Right. Yes. It's not sexual. It is erotic. You just and they take like that word. Oh my God! They take me to a place in my whole being. My boot. My body goes goose. Oh, she's goose. And awesome. if I tell you something, I will tell you something. And this, these guys are in trouble right now. They're under investigation. I'm not going to say who it is. Of course, I've said that ten times. But let me tell you something. There is a guy that comes every day at four o'clock, between four and five o'clock. I call him my four o'clock guy. I know he's been to war. I know he's been to in war. In a helicopter? No, no, trust tr tr me. Oh, well, you don't know what. I'm the helicopter girl for a reason. Oh, I should Jesus say Christ. Helicopter. Oh, sorry, I'm just swearing. Wait, hold on. Point being is, there's one person that comes over every day. He flies like nobody else. And I'm not getting anyone in trouble by saying it. And I know they're under investigation. And I hope this doesn't go to public uh, viewing. But I would love to have listen to this guy. Over listen, oh, no, no, no. Listen to what happens with this guy. This guy. So I come to my balcony, fully, you know, always fully clothed. And I try to maintain composure, and he comes in, and this, you, I promise you, he is just an inch or two off the buildings below. Everybody comes out, and I am looking so close. I can see not just the pilot, but I can see the guy next to him. I won't say the title of the guy next to him, because then you'll know what helicopter it is, and I'm not going to say it. But let's just say there's two men in the front seat, 
and they, I can see them both, and I can see them clearly. And if that is not close, that is closer. That those guys are risking You're their lying. lives. Actually, Hold on, helicopters are no, no, no. hard to drive. Oh my God, the wires, the wires outside my building. I am actually concerned for them. And but I tell you something, the feeling <laughs> that that gives me, I have to stay home <laughs> at that time because <laughs> I don't care if that man's got eight heads. I just want to thank him. But this guy who's never met me, who watches me every day, is afraid to meet me because he thinks I might be crazy. Well, I've got news for you, my friend. If you ever see this tape, I'm not crazy at all because you've got whole L.A. County Sheriff Department that will vouch I'm not crazy. You've got all my girlfriends that will vouch. You've got all gay men in West Hollywood that will vouch for me that I'm not crazy. So when you've got the guts to meet me, you'll see I'm not. But I'll tell you something. I'll always re react to your machine. When you're on top of me, I will drop to my knees every time that I can because that is how he makes me feel. This one particular man. They all love it. They all put the siren Sounds on. Sounds so hot. Oh, it is, it is just... Do you know, I don't I think I can talk about it. it. I, I, I'd rather it. not talk about it because I'm shaking just talking about something. You're in love with him already. I'm not in love with the man. He's probably happily married. I'm not in love with Who Rick. Who cares? Don't even ask oh. any questions. No, no, I'm not interested to meet. I'm not interested to flirt with the pilot. I want him to know. He doesn't need to know. He knows what he does to me. He can see my face on a close up. Oh, look, I'm ripping your cushions. Sorry about that, but I'm just trying to tell you. Don't it's not se sexual. It is just so exciting. And it's you for it. But what I want to know like is that word. I don't ever get the low. So, in other words, if I go that high because of a helicopter or because a matador and a bull ring will throw me the rose, same thing. I get that high. But a Spaniard knows because a Spaniard's got passion. A cop in a, fr uh, in, a in a helicopter may not know what real passion is. Right. I never have the lows that these American women seem to have. They go down low and they scream and shout. Never happened to me. I'm an English girl, I'm a European girl, and I've got passion for everything. Specifically law enforcement and news helicopters. Specifically a matador and a bullring that will throw me his rose. Specifically the country of Spain where everybody understands uh, me. Animal cruelty doesn't bother you? Animal when cruelty they, does bother they, me. I know they this stab is stab the bull. It does, but that, I grew up with bullfighting, so it's hard. Did? It's very hard. Yeah, I lived in Spain, and I know I, the, the problem is people think because I'm very into the bullfight, in fact, one of the best matadors fighting on Saturday in Tijuana. From Spain. Oh, Hollywood. that would Hollywood. Hollywood. go down. I Spain. wanted to put it on Facebook, but I was afraid. 749 friends are going to say she's into animal cruelty. There's another well, thing that they're going to discredit me for. Everyone wants to try to discredit someone who's a respectable girl. I love animals. Don't get me wrong. I love dogs. Cats. But dogs, I love. <laughs> You know, I'm sorry, when you grow up with the bulls and the bullfighting, and it's a culture of it's Spain, the, culture, the most yeah. passionate country yeah. in the entire world is Spain. Yeah. Oh my gosh, just to go to the country, I have to kiss the ground. Am I crazy? A Spaniard wouldn't think so. A California And also, if, if you're, you're, you can all, I, I always would just, I had to get up and leave at that point. I, I just, I just left for a while. When they started sticking the bulls, you know, it's like yeah, I know that's the when, they sad, do, when it starts to bleed. I, I, you know, at first it doesn't, you know, it sticks and, and they don't, it doesn't, you know, they're tough. Yeah, you know, they yeah. probably don't even feel it. They've got the bulls got a lot of adrenaline going mm -hmm. anyway, so it's just making them matter. But more uh, mad, more mad. But I'll tell you something. If if it gets when it gets to the kill, I I, I have to I have to. I can't, I can't help. You, oh, I'm from Iowa. I'm from Sioux City, Iowa, and you're so sophisticated. Well, speaking of you know? the oh, kill, I think we're going to end the show now. It's time. You didn't get a word in, John. We want to know about you, you and Alec no, in prison. No. Wow. Trust me. I, I love prison. The, the show's about you guys, and it was wonderful having you. She cried, Two this gifts. darling lady. She cried. It's the well, first time I've met her, and I just hope that I'll meet you again, and I won't make oh, you cry. I want, I want, I want that alley place, and I want, I want to know about that. I want your, I want, I want. I've got to write down your, your Facebook. website and oh, Facebook, and yeah, we'll be friends on Facebook. And also, it's like I want to get you on this web series. Okay. I want as you 